What would you get if you took the basic plot of the Ringu, updated it, and gave it some awesome characters? <laughs> well, you certainly wouldn't get fear.com, that's for sure. Not sure exactly what you'd get there. But let's take a look at this movie about a real killer website that probably thought it was doing the aforementioned. We start off with a man in a subway, and he sees a little girl playing on the tracks. No! But she disappears, so instead of, you know, getting off the track, the guy continues running. He has plenty of time to get back onto the platform, but instead tucks into the other side. But then decides jumping in front of the train is the best decision. I guess he was thinking trains are more scared of you than you are of them? I don't. So yeah, an image of the girl mocks the guy for having the gall to try and save her. Guess he'll know better on his next life. <laughs> then we get introduced to one of our main characters, Terry Houston. <laughs> oh, rat in the slipper jump scare. Brilliant. And she's apparently with the Department of Health. I guess she doesn't inspect her own building, though. And here's our other main character, Detective Mike Riley. He notices the guy's eyes are bleeding, so obviously concludes... Must have been into computers, this guy. Ah, another case of being on the computer too long till your eyes bleed and you can't see incoming trains. Then we see some crap about a guy setting up for a live show on his webpage and the subscribers just start flooding in. Apparently everyone was just waiting for this website. What's the content? Now all we need... Is the leading lady. So I guess it's a porn site, but if he has no performers, the people subscribing already confuses me a bit. I think you're pissed off because this doctor guy keeps sending you love letters. I mean, come on. Everybody's got a case or two they can't crack. And Mike's case was apparently trying to catch the amazingly named The Doctor. I wonder how he came up with such a brilliant alias. Yeah, not quite as brilliant as Phyllis, is it? Quiet. So the cops haul in another bloody-eyed guy who's screaming in German. Over at his apartment, they find a dead girl in the bathtub. What do you make of this? Ebola. Well, that was an easy one. I guess we're pretty much done here. And oh, wait, they're sending in the hazard suit, boys. Should we be in one of those suits they're wearing? We're probably already infected. What is it with you people? You just let this shit run wild? It's probably your fault I got the stomach flu last week too! Next time show up before I start touching the dead bodies! It's not a virus. Every breath you take And every move you make Every bond you break Every step you take I'll be watching you Every single day! Oh, this isn't creepy at all or anything. Well, I was filming you because you happen to be the perfect leading lady. Yeah, like she's really- Do you mean that? She's really gonna go for that. <sighs> they watch over dead German boy's home movies and he almost gets his camera stolen at one point, which apparently really amuses Terry. I don't know. But then they get to the good part, them filming themselves on the computer. Who doesn't do that? But that magic site they go to makes him scream in German and her tape herself dying in the bathtub. Ah oh, yes, down this cruddy alleyway, that's where all the big productions happen, right? Time to get that big part. Oh, and the lights don't even work properly and no one's around? This must be huge! Better keep going in! I really think a quick open of the door was all she should have needed to see that this wasn't worth pursuing. Oh, in shock, she gets caught by the website doctor. Is it Ebola? No. I don't even think it's a virus. What then? Are you okay? Yeah. Where'd your computer go? I sent it in for repair. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I'm, I'm not lying. I'm, I didn't even go to this website that kills you or anything. Get off my back about it! Oh, stupid old girls and their balls and their background music. 
Oh, and now she disappeared. That annoys me so much. I'm going to take the cigarette out again. No, wait. Put it back. Put it back. No, I'll take it out. Now, just to casually walk to my car, and actually, I could use that cigarette. Hopefully, it appears in my mouth as I enter it. Ah, good. Don't smoke. See? It's bad for you. And if you smoke, you go to hell before you die. on his computer. Aha! Another computer-related death. Case closed. Back at Website Doctors, we see he had already lost his previous subscribers, but is now getting them back again rapidly. And he's apparently doing a live torture podcast. We will provide a lesson that reducing relationships to anonymous electronic impulses is a perversion. Ah yes, and what better way to show this than torture and murder? But here, <laughs> we offer intimacy. Basically, all he's saying is his reason for killing is pretty weak. Except he really needs those subscribers. Karen, <laughs> tell us your hopes and dreams. Well, actually, I wanted to write a live podcast where I torture and kill people. Oh, well now, this is awkward. So the computer tech Denise finds the common link between all the victims' computers is they visited the site fear.com. Wait a second. Fear.com.com? Seriously? Fear.com.com I've never heard of someone naming their site something like that. You'd think if you could get a magical website that kills people, securing the actual domain fear.com would be simple. I guess not even magic can save you from domain price gouging. I'm waiting for you, Denise. Okay. Do you want to hurt me? You're lying. Oh, so this is just one of those games that gives you a choice for no real reason, as there's no real choice in the matter, it's just a linear process. So Denise gets shown a series of disturbing images, much like on a videotape in a certain other movie. say I can feel your pain, but I can't. I can't feel anything. I've been deprived of that somehow. Don't you just feel so sorry for me? I sure hope so. Eat bouncy balls that hatch cockroaches. Do you think you can trace who's running the site? Sure. Yeah, why bother asking the domain registrar or host or anything? That'd be silly. So then for no reason, they tracked down the guy who wrote the book that the guy who died on the tracks had, and he tells them the book. It was a load of shit. Making the scene pretty much entirely pointless, but they continue to have a long, drawn-out conversation with him about it. Uh, he came to believe that the web could actually receive energy, store it, and send it out. Energy? What kind? Psychic energy. Stealing your soul. Your soul is mine. <laughs> Every one of these victims died two days to the minute after they first logged onto the fear site. Wow, that's almost like dying seven days after watching a videotape, but so much cooler! Back at Denise's, we see she is chanting and carving into her apartment, 
binary? Binary? Other cockroaches return, but luckily disappear when the camera cuts. Guess she's safe. Oh, but unfortunately it cut again and they're all back. Mike and Terry start rushing to Denise's like they can actually get there in time, and she starts walking over to the window. Yeah, I wonder where this is going. Yes, that was truly a shock. Can you promise me one thing? That you won't visit that site? Why would he bother when you guys could just get all the info without visiting it? Mike goes over to Denise's to have a chuckle at the binary on the wall. Oh, and of course he's logging into fear.com. Dot com. On my favorite web browser, Hotbox. <sighs> Mike recognizes the website girl's one of the doctor's past victims. Ah, maybe that's why she had a hard time getting a good site address. Do you like to watch? No. Do you want to see more? Probably shouldn't there, Mike. Uh-huh. Do you want to hurt me, Mike? I don't know who you are. Time to play. For a supernatural website that kills you in two days, it's not very interactive, is it? How do I play? Find me. You have 48 hours. Me. Pass. What happens if I lose? You die. Do you want to play? Well, this seems like a pretty cut and dry decision. Some freaky website killing dead girl's body on the risk of my life. So obviously Mike says... Oh, Mike, you're so stupid. You deserve this. <laughs> I'm really wondering how this site is coded, and it looks like a flash site, so let's check the old action script book here and try to find out. It must be on some kind of time function and you know, if timer equals zero and body found equals false then execute kill. I can't seem to find the kill command in here. Maybe it's under murder. And the images from the site plague you as you're on your death trip. Getting that odd sensation of deja vu again. This is love. Jump scare! What did go? Jeannie Richardson. I saw her. She said he had 48 hours to find her, yet she keeps knocking him out. That's hardly fair now, is it? Don't go there! Me, you won't go there. Seriously, you listen to me like I listen to you! Oh shit. So Terry immediately, not even joking, goes right to the computer and goes to good old fear.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com. Dot dot com 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 dot Guilty? She asked why, not are you? What a piece of crap website. Certainly can't be the interactivity that brings people to it, so it must be the killing you feature that really draws people in. Guilty of what? Watching. Watching? 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 I guess I'm guilty of watching too! Watching a stupid piece of shit website movie! So Terry picks up her little 48 hour computer mind virus as well. And she knocked Terry out until daybreak. Man, for a barely interactive website go, she's a real cheater. So Terry and Mike's partner Sykes check into the dead web girl, Jeannie Richards. Yeah, Jeannie. I checked out all her addresses. Shitholes. 
<laughs> Artists model my ass. You, though. I find interspecies mating rituals fascinating. Will you shut the fuck up? Didn't find that a little interesting, Sykes? No. Well, we see once again he's lost all his subscribers, but is rapidly getting them back. It's almost like they keep recycling that shot. Terry goes to see Jeannie's mother basically just to give us the connection that the little girl is also Jeannie. She was a happy child. Terry sees the picture start moving, which if done effectively could have been a really disturbing sight. Here it's just kind of like, mm -hmm, I gotta sit down. Why does she appear as a little girl sometimes, you might ask? Guilty. Jean Marie was a hemophiliac, and she could bleed to death from just a scratch. It's the old Poltzig steel mill about two miles down the road. Jeannie used to play there as a child. She was a hemophiliac, so she used to play at the old steel mill. Did she know if she died she was going to haunt a website or something and was looking forward to it? seem like you were expecting me. What? Well, as dumb as that is, the bum lady points Terry out the way to the dead body. <clears throat> Hello? Seven days. I, I mean, are you ready to play? Find me. Where are you? What? What did you find at the old steel mill then? Was that not her? Was it some other victim? Why'd she go do all that then? Were all those scenes entirely pointless? I think so. Do you want to hurt me? Yes! Holy shit, yes! You're lying. Yeah, of course I am. I found you! I found your body! I did what you wanted! Wow, she's as coherent in person as she was on the site. I thought once we found the body, that would be an end to it. I think they thought that in another movie, too, but if you're expecting a similar twist here, prepare to be mind-numbingly disappointed. Don't know if it matters, but someone performed an autopsy on this body a long time ago. Shouldn't the coroner be able to tell those cuts were made before her death? So to actually finally combine these stupid stories and get this damn thing wrapped up, she just has the doctor's current address inside her mouth. Whatever, I have no real complaints about that, because if they didn't just give it to them, they'd probably make about 17 more useless stops before getting to the right place. Oh wait, silly me, she gave them the address to his place where he has random dead faces spinning on TVs and other dumb shit. But then they find the real address. They arrive at the doctor's place and call in Sykesy Boy to come help them. So finally, Mike and Terry confront the doctor, but he has a surprise for them. Oh my god. He's already killed Sykes. It takes this guy almost an entire movie to even start killing this girl, yet he's already killed Sykes and strung him up on the wall. I don't even know how Sykes got there first, let alone giving him time to do all that. He must have just ran in with his throat out yelling, Kill me! Kill me! Get me on this stupid movie! Well, here's one thing we shouldn't be surprised about. This makes the whole calling Sykes in to help thing entirely pointless! So I'm getting sick of this. The doctor gets shot in the leg, but they're stupid. Instead of killing him right away, he's able to pull out a gun and blow Mike away. Despite a moment ago the doctor saying, Guns are so impersonal and artless. He starts strapping Terry up, but Mike logs into fear.com. She teleports him into the net, I guess, and apparently he doesn't get two days. Oh, Scooter? Uh, yeah, Chief? Remind me to stop setting up these video conferences. You're not very productive. You got it. Sheesh. Mike dies so sad. Hello? So wow, fear.com.com didn't even try to hide the fact that they just rehashed the Rings story. 
And yes, while well, this did beat the ring into theaters over here, the original Japanese version was out a few years before this. So I can only assume they didn't think it'd get that much coverage over here and they tried to beat the ring into theaters. At any rate, it's just a terrible movie and I can only hope that there aren't any real websites that awful. Actually, let's go find out. Come on, gang, let's go. All right, better open this up in my trusty Hotbox web browser. Oh, silly me, it's fear.com.com. Do you like to watch? Not really. Do you want to play? Hmm, not likely. Let's just say no. But thou must. Do you want to play? I said no. But thou must. Do you want to play? No! But thou must. Do you want to play? Fine! Enough with that attitude, Phelous! What? I know who you are. Well, I know that now. You did just say my name. Time to play. Time to play what? Hey, what you doing? Get out! Find me. Okay, you're right there. So, you want to play Silent Hill or something? Silent Hill is fun. No! Really find me! What, online? Um, your YouTube account is CyborgCat. Does that count? Guilty. Guilty? You have one minute. I think I'll just be turning the computer off now, thanks. Don't you dare. Well, that's all the time we have today. Stay tuned for my next review where I'll be taking a look at the movie. This is for keeping that leg cutting scene in your review of the ruins. Oh. Anyway, if you want to watch a good show, tune into the next game, Dan, where I'll that be- That didn't make any sense. You're angry at me for showing a gory scene, so you ripped my head off? Shut up. I don't like this movie, he doesn't look too friendly, these monsters seem so fake, my nerves are gonna break, failures don't let me down, you need to be around, grab the running one up Sing a new one I think it's moving I look shit That didn't make any sense. You were angry at me for showing a gory scene so you ripped my head off? Shut up.